Hi guys, it's Lauren, Hot Chic Thrift. I wanted to share a haul with you guys before I put it away in my inventory. It's a bunch of stuff I've been listing over like the last week or week and a half. I do bulk listing, so I usually just list like 100 to 200 things in a big chunk. Um, this isn't all of them because some of them have been selling this week. And my dog, Suki, wants to say hi. This is Suki, everyone. She heard me talking and I think she think she thought I had someone in the house or something. <laughs> you want to say hi to everyone on YouTube? I've got some people in my chat. I see Anessa, PGH Picks, Justin of RBA Flips, and Connie, and Michelle, and Lily. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what my dogs are doing behind me, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to ignore them. Guys, stop. <laughs> Macy is my other one. This is Macy. No, you're getting in the way. Okay. So, back to my hauls, because otherwise I'll never get started. So, most of this stuff is already listed. Um, there's a couple things that I'm probably going to list today. That's what I was grabbing and why I started kind of a minute or two late. Um, I've got these Stuart Weitzman strappy heels, perfect for a Christmas party. And these were something that I bought a while ago and I kind of was hanging on to them to list them for Christmas and I just found them yesterday. <laughs> so I'm going to get those up because I'm thinking that they'll sell pretty quickly for me. Um, oops, I'm trying to catch up with the chat too here. So I'll make sure I'm listening to you guys. And I need to make someone a moderator because I see I have no wrenches in here. I'm going to make Justin a moderator. And we'll make Anessa a moderator too. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Saddy and Red Neckerson's Resales. All right, my next thing that is not listed, but will be listed, hopefully tonight, if I can take some pictures later, is I have these really cute Christian Louboutin mules. And if you watch Poshmark Talk with Tanya and Andy and myself, you might have seen these already. I purposely bought these to list right before Christmas because I know they'll get picked up as a Christmas gift. I do have to clean the bottoms off a little bit though. Um, I was hoping before I did another one of these hauls that I would find a fake Louboutin so I could kind of show you guys the differences between real and fake. Um, I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can really see how shiny the bottoms are on these real Louboutins. That's the first indicator if they're real or not. And you can see that the stitching is seamless. I'm hoping it's zooming in for you so you can see it. But you will never be able to really see the stitching in a real Louboutin. I actually have another pair in the hall, so I'll show you guys close up again. But just detail, you'll see the quality and you'll be able to tell that it's real or not. Also by the box. If you see a Louboutin box and the Paris symbols way up here, or it's not crossed over like this, you can really tell that they're fake. And they'll also have the barcode and the name of the shoe. And if they're fake and they're in a fake box, they will not have this. Oh, wow, my chat is going crazy. I need to read this for a second. <laughs> All right. Oh, David's here. Hi, David. And Shane. Hi, Shane. Oh, Michelle asked if I ever repaint the bottoms. I have on my own personal shoes that I have gotten, my own personal Louboutins, but I try not to do it to resell because you never know if someone is going to get it and think that they're in better shape than they actually are. That's the only reason that I don't repeat the bottoms. I have resold bottoms before and I have a pair of shoes I picked up yesterday that I plan to resole, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. 
Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do another haul, hopefully next weekend, depends how much I can list. But I will have them back by then and I can show you what a resold shoe looks like then. All right. Oh, hi, Carol. I've got one more. This is a brand I don't really see on people's Poshmark hauls very often. But if you can find it, they're going to sell for a couple hundred dollars. And it's Tabitha Simmons. These are authentic. Always look when you're at garage sales if the shoes are in the box where they came from. Like you can see this is a Saks Fifth Avenue sticker. You can just see right there, like where they ripped it off. It says partially Saks Fifth Avenue. And you can tell by the style names and everything if it's a more expensive shoe just from the box. I actually put these up. Um, on Poshmark, I sniped them just to resell them. So, <laughs> oh, hi, mom and pops thrifting. Oh, I'm glad this is useful for you, Justin. But how cute are these? I wanted to keep them for myself, but I wear a size nine and these are like a size six and a half. So there's no way that's going to work. But these are in really good shape really good shape on the bottoms they were maybe worn one time like there's not even any scratching on the backs of the heels and this is what the tag looks like you guys can see sorry if you see them out in the wild anywhere but this is another one just quality you can't see the seams you can tell an expensive shoe because you really won't be able to see the stitching in the seams and they'll usually have a leather bottom like this um let's see catching up for the chat here oh donna is asking how much were will the louboutin shoes sell for on poshmark the last shoes i had the blue ones i'm going to probably ask maybe 350 for them and i'm hoping to get 300. um in these ones because they're in such good shape and they're really unique and studded like studded is super in and cool right now. If you can find anything like motorcycle looking or studded, it'll sell immediately. Um, I sold a clutch that I just listed like three or four days ago on Poshmark. I'm actually going to see if I can find it, but that was studded and I picked it up for like a couple dollars and I sold it right away. And I knew as soon as I listed it, that it would sell because it was leather and studded. Um, was a Marciano bag. And I hope all of you guys are following my Poshmark because then you can really see the stuff I'm picking up because I try to list every day. And I have that linked in my description if you want to see what I'm listing. But anyway, these ones, Tabitha Simmons shoes, super cute booties. Probably going to list these for around 300 and hope we get like two. Hopefully, if I get an offer for two, I'll take it. But they're super unique, so I think they're going to sell right away. Catch up with the chat here. Oh, Andy's here. Hi, Andy. Um, Donna's asking where I find such great stuff. I'm super picky, number one. <laughs> And I also just have like a couple little money holes that I go to all the time. I know a lot of people that sell me things directly just because they know what I do. Um, and I just, I honestly really like hunting for stuff. I do a lot of retail arbitrage. You'll probably see a couple things that I hold up in a few minutes that are brand new that I've actually gone out to stores and found. Um, some of these shoes I have found at thrift stores. The... Not in my haul today, but some of them I have, yes. I've actually found a pair of Chanel clogs in a thrift store. I think I've talked about that in an episode of our reseller six pack in the past. Um, let's see here. I'll do all my shoes first because they take up the most space. These are listed in my Poshmark closet right now. I'm just inventorying them and putting them away. These are Valentino shoes, and these also get faked a lot. And I actually found these at a thrift store. 
they're they've been worn but i knew that they were real they're in super good shape and they're just adorable but unfortunately they don't fit me either they're 38 so And then we'll go with my last pair of Louboutins. These are listed in my Poshmark closet right now. These are brand new. And I bought these at a consignment shop. These are Pagalis. That's the model. And you can kind of see, I'll try to hold up the bottom for you. You can see that it's really shiny. They are new, but you can tell like someone tried them on. They just never wore them outside. And you can see the imprint in the bottom. You can also tell by the soles, the interior soles, if they're fake or not. Like these soles are really smooth. The fake ones will just pop out and they'll look cheap and you'll be able to tell. And teeny tiny, perfect stitching. Whoa, my chat is flying right now. <laughs> If I forget you, just put a bunch of question marks so then I can see your question. <laughs> Let's see. David says his sister would buy all of these shoes. <laughs> um, so now I'll get into clothes. This really cute sweater I listed this week. It's just an Ann Taylor sweater. And this sold on eBay yesterday. And I actually have it out because I was going to ship it. But it's just this really cute, simple wool blend sweater with a sw little zipper in the front. And I think this sold for $25, I want to say, on my eBay. But I'm going to throw this back up here so I can get it shipped out today. <laughs> I think I'm caught up in my chat now. Wow, I have 25 people watching me. Thanks, guys. This is a really cool thing. This actually wasn't a thrift store find. This is one of my mom's items, and I'm going to list it for her and sell it. She found this beautiful fur coat at an estate sale with me maybe a year ago, I want to say. She bought it to wear to an event. The price tag is actually still on it from the estate sale. It was half price day. So she paid, I'll let you guys see and you can see how much she paid. <laughs> but the tag is still on there. She never even ended up wearing it. It's in absolutely perfect condition. This is a mink coat. Um, really cute, gorgeous. So I'm going to list this on eBay and Poshmark probably today for her and sell it for her because I'm thinking I'll probably get double that. I'll probably get around 200 to 250 for it. And then she'll give me a cut for selling it for her since it was her personal item. But if you guys can get expensive things from people like high dollar things, there's nothing wrong with consigning or try to just buy it outright from them. Like if this wasn't my mom, I would have bought it outright. I would have offered someone probably $50 for it. And then I would have sold it myself. I'm going to put this back in the container, though. I don't want it to get dirty because it's in such good shape. Do you guys have any questions on anything I've been showing you? that over out of the way. Um, I have a couple of bags that I am going to be listing. I was hoping I would get them up today, but I've been just busy listing stuff that I already had pictures of. I'm going to do some flat lay photos tonight, but I have this beautiful Prada bag that I bought earlier this year and I was saving it to list it around Christmas time because everyone knows that if you don't get what you want for Christmas and you get money, you're going to go spend money on what you really do want. And everyone wants a Prada bag. <laughs> so this, I have the original dust bag for it. This is authentic. Um, 
It unfortunately does, oh, it does have the lock. I couldn't even remember, but this is one of the little lock bags and the little keys are right on here. Beautiful leather, beautiful interior. So I think when I list this, I'll probably ask maybe 350 or 400 for it. It's just a really beautiful bag. Yes, Justin, you need to get on Poshmark. I have used Poshmark authentication. I sold an Hermes bag that went through that before um, and a couple pairs of shoes. It just takes two or three days longer for the customer to get their item because it goes to Poshmark first and then Poshmark will send it to them after it's been authenticated. Anything you sell over $500 goes through Poshmark authentication. And I have another Prada bag. It's a beautiful Prada Safiano leather bag. Gorgeous. I really wanted to keep this for myself, but I didn't. <laughs> this is like my dream bag. And I think as soon as I list this, it's going to sell. You guys can see the inside here. It's just beautiful. Something I will tell you about real Prada versus fake Prada. It's going to have the Prada lining for sure. And it's going to have on every single zipper, Prada zipper pulls. Sorry, my webcam, it's probably hard to focus. I should really make one of these videos with my real camera. But hopefully it's focusing in so you can see that. And also, it will say Prada on your snaps. And this is another thing too, stitching. Stitching is everything. If you have a real bag, all your stitching is gonna be perfect and your leather will be perfect too. It'll feel like butter or else it will be thick and stiff if it's a Safiano bag like this. This bag, I need to condition before I get it listed. You can tell it's just kind of dry. And that's why I got such a good deal on it because someone just didn't take care of it. Once I refresh it, it's gonna look perfect and brand new. And I'll get that one out of the way. Tommy is saying that Prada does amazing on the real real and stock X. I have actually not sent any of my Prada into the real real yet. I just love Prada anyway. That's probably my favorite designer. If it were my things that I'm wearing, I would want to wear Prada. <laughs> I listed this week this really cute Eileen Fisher, brand new with Tag, silk dress. Um, suggested retail is $398 on this. It's kind of stretchy. It has these cute little tie sleeves and it's plus size. So I have this listed on Poshmark and eBay. It's a size 1X. But I'm thinking it's going to sell on eBay because my plus size stuff does really well on eBay. It usually always sells on eBay over Poshmark. Get that one out of the way. My chat is disappearing, you guys. I need to refresh it, I think. All right, there we go. <laughs> This I got at a thrift store. This is cash is how you pronounce it. I'll hold up the tag. They actually no longer make this. Hoping it's focusing for you. But it has a huge following. Every time I get something from this brand, it sells right away. Um, I actually sold something on Poshmark out of the same haul. I want to say yesterday. Maybe it was the day before, which was the same cash brand, and I'll show you that. And it was just like a cute pink sweater. But this is this adorable zipper front. I guess it's a jacket, like it's a shirt jacket, but it's
but it's got gold on it. It has stretch under the sleeves. It is trimmed out with leather. And I listed this on Posh and eBay for around like $70. And I'm thinking I'll probably get 60, 50 for it. Depending if I get an offer, I'll just take it because I want to move my stuff out. Here's another easy $20 flip. This is probably more of an eBay, but I have it listed on Posh too. It's a J. Jill Love Linen shirt. Whenever I see these, I always pick them up because these are another, just like a weird cult following from some people. They just love these J. Jill, specifically linen shirts. And I'll probably get like 20 bucks for it, but still from a couple dollars to $20, if it's easy, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Justin, for asking people to thumbs up me. Thanks, guys. I rarely make videos, so it makes me feel good. <laughs> this is a White House Black Market super cute ruffled blazer. I wanted to keep this one for myself, too. I almost did, actually, to wear to work, but... <laughs> um, I'm guessing you guys have probably seen White House Black Market. It's kind of a mall brand. But I can usually resell their blazers anywhere between $25 to $65. So I usually always pick them up. If you guys want to see the tag, the newer tags have this silver emblem on them. But all their stuff is really cute for working. Cute workwear. David is asking, would you sell anything that is a $20 item on local apps? Yes, I do all the time. I sell a lot of things locally. If it's something that I know will sell right away, like I do a lot of snow boots and things like that, really heavy things, they do well for me here locally. Someone's really jealous that I'm not paying attention to her and I'm touching the clothes. She's right over here hiding. <laughs> um, here's another one that kind of has a cult following. It's a lower dollar sell than the other stuff I was just showing you, but totally worth picking up. Horny Toad. They've changed their branding now. I can't even remember what their new branding is called, but people just love their older stuff. This is a cute little funnel neck vest from them, just a fleece vest. But I have this listed on eBay and Poshmark for, I want to say $28. Um, and... The last few horny toad things I had actually sold on Poshmark, which surprised me. I figured they were going to sell on eBay. But if you find it too, it'll have like this little toad emblem somewhere on the bottom. But this is brand new. It looks like it's new without tags. I think someone just ripped the tags off and never touched it. And I found this at a thrift store. Oh, Justin is saying he thinks it's Toad and Company now. Here is another one that a lot of people don't pick up, but I still grab. Lacoste, real Lacoste. It still has a crazy following to some people. And for some reason, these always sell for me on Poshmark. I have this listed in my Poshmark closet right now. Just a cute polo. Oh, I gotta shut the door. My husband's making noise outside. My dogs are gonna bark. <laughs> But yes, this is super cute. I listed this this week. I'll probably get $20 for it. But again, it's an easy $20. It still has a following. Um, David is saying local apps have been great for me. I've sold everything that I got from my haul that I got at your last car boot sale. Awesome. This is a really cute, like, long tunic blouse. And this is kind of a Nordstrom, like, low-end brand. It's called Lush. But I'm thinking this will probably go for $15 to $20 in my Poshmark closet. And if it doesn't, I'm keeping it for myself to wear because it's really cute. I try to pick up lower-end stuff if it's really cute or printed because it will usually sell on Poshmark.
This is a halogen kind of tweed looking work top. And I got this at a thrift store too. It has a zipper back, perfect for work. I could totally see someone rocking this with a pencil skirt. Um, halogen is another lower end Nordstrom brand. Brand new, this was probably around $120. Um, I'm asking 25 for it, I believe. And I think my chat went away again. Sorry, guys. I don't know what my computer is doing right now. This I actually got at the bins, believe it or not. But this is a Imperial Armani lace bra knew this was probably close to a hundred dollars it's literally brand new it's in perfect condition it doesn't even look like anyone wore it i have it listed in my poshmark closet as pre-owned but i can tell that it's new just from the tags and i think i'm asking 25 dollars for this but just beautiful quality luxury lingerie Here's another brand I always pick up. It's Thomas Pink. And if you watch any of my other hauls, I'm sure you've seen it. I Anytime I see this, I pick it up. I don't care what the print is. It This is really, really expensive if you don't buy it thrifted. So I can usually flip these shirts for $35 to $55, especially on eBay. People, for some reason, go to eBay to find these. Sold a couple on Poshmark, but most of these come from eBay. Yeah, just insane. I love selling Thomas Pink. Me too. I feel like people just don't know about this brand when they're thrifting. I tend to find it quite often, actually. I'd say it's one of my bread and butters. I actually think I have two more of these in this bucket or else they'll be in my next haul because they're in the other room. <laughs> this is a really cute little Banana Republic kind of like boyfriend sweater. Um, it's a size medium, which is a good size. I try to pick up not extra small. Extra small doesn't really sell that well, but you'll find a lot of designer clothes in extra small because people who can afford designer clothes are usually really skinny. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. Um, but this is 100% cotton. Just a cute little layering piece. You could probably wear it to work or casual. And I think I have this listed in my Poshmark closet right now for $20. And here is some LuLaRoe. I usually don't pick up LuLaRoe, but I found this at a thrift store for so cheap that I had to pick it up. You know, those kind of deals. Um, I believe this is either an Irma or a Perfect Tea. Yes, it's new with tags. It's an Irma. And this is listed on eBay and Poshmark right now. And I believe I'm asking $20 or $25 for it. I expect it to sell just because it's one of those casual tops. I don't know if it'll sell right away, but LuLaRoe has a lot of bad publicity going on right now. So I know a lot of people stopped picking it up. But if I see something new with tags, if I can sell it for $20, I'm picking it up. It's just easy. New with tags, new with tags, new with tags. If you find it, get it. Unless it's something that's super cheap to begin with. <laughs> yes, Justin, come and visit and we'll go shopping, you and your wife. Um, this dress is super cute. I listed the pattern kind of as crosshatch, I guess. I don't really know how to list it. I guess it's a crosshatch, but it has asymmetrical buttons all the way down. Just a cute little sheath dress. It's Tabitha brand, which is actually an anthropology brand. And it's a size six, which is essentially between like a small and a medium. It's really average size. And this could be worn just casual, dressed up, 
I think this will sell pretty quickly. I believe I have it listed for 45 or 55 in my Poshmark closet and on eBay right now. And here's some more White House Black Market. I found this really cute, just pink Lake Henley top, casual. It's a size small, but it was another just thrift find. It was on 75% off day, I believe. And I could tell just by looking at it that it's new without tags. If it was ever worn, it was worn one time. So it's in excellent condition. And I have this listed on eBay and Posh as well. Ooh, this is a fun find. All right, so this is a designer sweater. This is a Karl Lagerfeld sweater. Hold it up for you. It has super detailed rose buttons going down the whole thing. And here's the tag if you guys wanna see this. It's a size large, which is an awesome size. And it actually has like rose embossed almost on the front. But this is adorable. This probably sold me for close to $300. This high end designer, and I found this at a thrift store. Um, I believe I'm asking $45 or $55 for it on Poshmark and eBay. I honestly should have pulled all these things up next to me while I was talking to you guys so I could tell you exactly what I was charging for them. But if you look at my Poshmark account, you'll see what I'm charging for this stuff because it's already listed. So hopefully that'll help you. Oh, David is saying Poshmark seems to have taken off over in America. I heard that Poshmark is going international and that they have an office in Canada. I actually heard that Poshmark is going to start being able to have sales in Canada. I don't know if it'll be America to Canada or how that's going to work or if Poshmark will just have its own separate Canada app. I'm not really sure, but it'd be really cool if I could sell through Poshmark to Canada. I think I would get a lot more sales doing that. So I hope that it opens up. Um, this is a really cute little thin, it's almost like a sweat material, a La Moss shirt. And it's like a long tunic, just super casual. I found this at a thrift store. I'll show you guys the tag, Elamas. This is sometimes sold in anthropology stores, but it's sold in a lot of the more like upscale mom type boutiques. <laughs> My dogs are barking, sorry. Um, but they have this at little boutique places, kind of like the Ever Eve stores or like Hot Mama. So I'm asking around $20, $25 for this. It'll probably sell pretty quickly. All right. This was another thrift store find. This is designer. This is just an adorable blouse. It's Rachel Roy. I'll let you guys look. For some reason, this does a lot better for me on eBay than Poshmark. I usually pick it up. Not a lot of people pick it up, but I do. Um, this is an easy $30 to $25 sell. It's a cute little tie neck in the front. Sorry, it's not tied, so it's really hard to see it. But if you look at my Poshmark closet, you'll see it on the mannequin. and You'll see how cute it is. <laughs> but... There's the long sleeves. This is a gold and tweed Tory Burch chic dress. I found this at a consignment store on a sale rack, but I picked it up because if you look at the back, it still has all the tagging on it. It's it's brand new. It's never even been worn. It's brand new. And I have this listed in my Poshmark closet for, I want to say, $160. And I have it listed on eBay for the same. I'll show you guys the tag. I always pick up Tory Burch whenever I can find it. It's more expensive and people just, it has a really big following. And I'm going to refresh my 
chat again. It just keeps going out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not ignoring you, I swear. There, now it's back. I must have internet problems today or something. <laughs> but I will fold this up and go on to the next thing. And we have another LuLaRoe top because I got them at the same time. <laughs> Brand new with tags. This is a perfect tee. Just cute printed. This is a size large. I have this listed on eBay and Poshmark right now. Um, I'm actually kind of expecting this one to sell on eBay though. From when I looked up comps when I was listing, I think it'll sell on eBay. This one was a thrift store find. This is a olive and oak dress. Olive and oak is a Stitch Fix brand. I'll show you guys the take on that one. This is a 20 or $25 sale. I have it listed on eBay and Posh. Has a cute little drawstring waist. It's in super good shape. It looks like someone wore it maybe one time. Um, they do sell olive and oak at Nordstrom too, and I want to say Saks. And knew this probably would have been $75. This, I was really excited to list. I listed this. Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. I listed this this week. And I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't sold yet because it looks like a perfect Christmas dress. This is a Tahari brand dress. I got this at a thrift store. It's like satin on the bottom and it has all this pretty embellishing and sequins on it. It's got a zipper back. Any of the dresses I find like this, like Tahari, anything Tahari usually sells for me for around $22.55. It just depends the style. This is very unique. I couldn't find a comp on it on this exact dress. So I have this listed for, I believe, $55 or $65 on both Poshmark and eBay. But it's just an adorable dress that could be a work dress, a wedding dress, a Christmas dress, party dress. So very versatile. Hi, Kathleen. Sorry, my chat is so weird today. It's just kind of taking me a long time to see it. It doesn't show up and then all of a sudden like six chats will show, so. Here is another brand a lot of people don't pick up anymore, but I pick it up if it's jackets. Chico's. This is really cute and a lot of it too is the style like anything that's chico's animal print i pick it up because it sells really well on ebay and anything that's like this kind of tweed looking i always grab so this is just a cute little chico's work jacket it's a size zero in chico's which is like a size six or a size eight in regular sizes chico's has their own sizing system but this i listed this week i believe I listed it for 45 best offer. I have it listed on eBay and Poshmark. I'm expecting it to sell on eBay. Chico usually does way better on eBay than it does on Posh. And I will probably take like 40 or 35 for it on a best offer. This, I've actually sold this dress probably seven or eight times. And I always sell it for around $65 to $70, so I pick it up. This is a Millie Design Nation. I actually probably have this in another video on my channel because I've found this dress so many times. This is Millie Design Nation. I have another one for sale, too, in a size 6 that's in my closet right now that's not sold. But anything Millie, I always pick up. Super expensive, like $400, $450 if you buy it at Nordstrom. This was a collaboration with Design Nation, but it's still gonna sell because there were only so many of them. And apparently a lot of them 
were bought in Minnesota since I found this dress so many times, but it sells for good money. So I'm going to keep picking it up and it's cute. Oh, hi, Christine. Yes, certain things out of Chico sell really well. And there's a lot of people that only wear Chico's. So certain things that are more expensive, I will pick those up. Like the jackets or some of the pants or even some of the dresses. Um, this was actually a freebie. This one I'm about to show you. This isn't something I would normally pick up, but this was given to me by a friend. It's just this cute little express tank top. I normally don't pick up express. Like if I get it at the bins and I found something really unique and cute, I might. But my friend actually gave this to me and she goes, here, I'm going to donate this. Just sell this for me. So I just added it into my Poshmark closet just as something like a lower cost item if someone wants to make a bundle or something like that. But it's cute. So I think it'll sell. You could layer it underneath a blazer or a sweater or wear it alone. This is another brand I always pick up. I know a lot of other people don't, but I always pick it up. This I got, I'm trying to remember where I got it. I either got it at the bins or a thrift store clearance day for 75% off. But this is a Max Studio dress. Any dresses that I find by Max Studio, I can usually sell them between $25, $35, or $45. The maxi dresses do really well, but I picked this up just because it was in really good shape. Just a cute, like little knit dress, little sheath dress. Um, and then I got home and I was looking at comps and I actually found out that it's still for sale at Nordstrom right now. So that's awesome. I'm asking, I want to say 35 for it, but I would take down to 20 if I get an offer. So we'll see. Kathleen says, Chico's is a really nice brand. I have several pieces that I wear often. Me too. I like to mix and match from different brands, so. This is an awesome thrift store find I'm going to show you guys. So I might be just killing this pronunciation for you, but I'm going to hold it up first. This is a... Tadashi Shoji dress from Nordstrom. This probably retailed for around $600. I found this at a thrift store. It's brand new with tags. Still has the Nordstrom tag right on it. Still has the sale tag right on it. And I think I paid like $6 for it. It was on a half off day and it's beautiful. And I'll show you guys the tag too, so if you see that. But I have this listed for, I want to say, between $235 and $275 on eBay and Poshmark. And I'm actually thinking that it'll probably sell in the next week or two. Because how cute would this be for a Christmas party dress? I wish it fit me. I would keep it for myself. <laughs> This is a really long haul, you guys. I didn't even think I had that much stuff, but it's taking a long time. <laughs> Here is another thrift store find. I found an older Alice and Olivia dress, which is a high-end brand. It's just this cute little, like kind of a bodycon tighter dress, but it has like a little floof on the outside. It's hard to see how cute it is when I'm holding it up, but. It's just very fitted and stretchy. And I think I'm asking 65 for this one, but I'll probably just take a best offer because I did find it at a thrift store. So here is a bins find. This is Aqua. This is actually a higher end boutique brand. And they also sell this at Nordstrom. Um, for some reason, this doesn't have a high, high resale value, but it does have a following. Um, 
I have it listed on eBay and Poshmark for around $25, but I'm guessing it will sell on Poshmark. Just a cute little kind of like halter skater style, golden black dress. And honestly, it looks like something if you guys watch New Girl, what Zoe Deschanel would wear on New Girl. How she always has those little floopy dresses on. <laughs> This is another friend find. My friend was cleaning out her closet and gave me some stuff. Actually, a lot of it's probably going to be my next haul because I didn't go through it all yet. This is a brand new Wate limited dress. It has a cute little drawstring waist. Um, she's got all the tags on it. Perfect condition. Just really cute. I have this one listed, I think for 35 or 40 on Poshmark and eBay. And it's kind of summery, so it might not sell until spring, but I'm okay with that. Here is a popular brand on Poshmark. This is a Lulu's dress. I was seeing lots of dresses, so a lot of the tall dresses, sorry about that. Um, this is just like a tall maxi dress, kind of like boho peasant looking. Um, for some reason, Lulu's is just really big right now, the brand. So if you can find anything Lulu's, it'll probably sell pretty quickly. And I want to say I'm asking $30 for this. And this was a thrift store find. Here's another thrift store find cute strapless j crew dress it's a lot cuter when it's not wrinkled but it was in this bin for me to inventory so it's kind of wrinkled um sorry my computer froze again all right i'm back we're good <laughs> so this is just a cute little j crew strapless dress this is i i never pick up factory g crew i only pick up regular g crew this is from the store if you look at the tag if you see any tags that have dots next to it that means it's just the made for factory and i usually don't pick that stuff up because it just it doesn't sell for as much this dress i have listed for 65 on ebay and poshmark Here was another, my last actually final thing to show you, but this was the same day that I found the other expensive dress at the thrift store. This was a thrift store find. It is a brand new Max and Cleo satin strapless dress. I wish I was tiny enough to fit into it because I would love to keep it for myself. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys the tag. That's Max and Cleo. This probably came from Nordstrom. I find a lot of Nordstrom things in the Goodwills around me. We have, I want to say, six Nordstrom rack stores in the area that I live, and then three or four bigger Nordstrom stores. So we have a lot of stuff from Nordstrom. But this is just a cute, like, party cocktail dress. The zip back. It's beautiful. So I'm expecting that one to sell pretty quickly. And I believe I'm asking 85 for it on my Poshmark. But I want to get all these dresses listed before New Year's Eve. Oh, really funny. Kathleen just said that. She's like, pretty New Year's Eve dress. But people are going to all these parties now looking for this fancier stuff. So I'm trying to get the fancier stuff listed. I'm probably gonna list my mom's for a coat today too, and I'm hoping that that'll sell before Christmas. So yes, I guess that's the end of my haul of all the stuff I have to show you guys today. I'm gonna do another haul in a few days, hopefully Friday or Saturday next weekend um, after I get more of my stuff listed. I went and I did a huge buy yesterday of a bunch of fun stuff. I was talking to Andy and Justin about it yesterday. So they kind of have an idea of some of the stuff that I got. But <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys those things. Um, 
did anybody have any questions? Sam says nice haul. Thank you. Thanks, David. Well, I guess I will end the video since no one has any questions for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a good day. I'll be back soon with more items to share with you. <laughs> Bye.